Okay, so today we're going to make hydrogen peroxide hand sanitizer. Yup, hydrogen peroxide hand, hand sanitizer. Now, this is for the people who are uh, on the go that cannot wash your hands. And I always tell people, I'm, I'm just like the, like the CDC always recommend you to wash your hands. And if you can wash your hands with bleach, that's even better. Believe it or not, bleach is actually the most effective against coronavirus. Yep. Just with just 0.1% of bleach. Yeah. Can you imagine? But we are doing something that it's on the go. Because bleach tend to dry a little bit on the hand. Um, so I made this with... Um, the best way uh, I can follow a guideline and I'll list it uh, a picture right here that I have captured um, and what have they uh, what they have um, study with and we need 5% uh, hydrogen peroxide and it has to be 80% okay I'm going to call it the high side and the low side. The low side, it's on this side. Okay? So let's say you want to add a little bit of glycerine into your glow, low side. You can do that. Okay? If you want to add in a little bit, if you have any aloe vera to add that onto that, you can do that. Okay? If you have a little lotion, but it has to be water-based, okay? You can have a little bit of glycerine base or oil base is fine, but it has to be on the low side, okay? We're going to keep the left as our low and high as our right. Our high side, it has to be 80%. So no matter what you do on this side, on the low side, we want to keep 20%. But because I'm not too sure on the test, so I would suggest about 85% to be 100% sure. So, but that's just my thing, okay? They have tested with 80 uh, at 5%, but I want 85%, okay? Just to, just to be safe. Um, you would need uh, something like this right here, like a little bottle. And that's what I made my testing right here before I made the video. And, I, and every time you, you use it, you have to shake it. And you cannot leave this in the sunlight, okay? Do not leave this in the sunlight. You would have to get uh, something to cover it, like tin foil, okay? I'm going to move it a little bit so you're going to see me move a little bit. You would need tin foil to do this. So after you're done, I, I'm going to put it onto here because I like this because it's see how it pops out and you can just squeeze it in. It's a squeeze. I think the squeeze bottle is actually better. And all you have to do is wrap it. Okay. That way, it's away from the sunlight. Okay. But I'm not going to do that yet. You can do that on your own easy I'm just gonna do that so I can know what, to, what what I'm doing okay now you would need just 85% or above and in here my cup it has a hundred okay make make it as you go okay don't make it too much and blah 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 make it 100 milliliter at a time okay so 75 would be right here so we want a little bit extra than that okay there you go just a little bit extra on that now we have our 80 percent or 85 percent around there now you would add your soap into it soap you can do bubble bath 
that would work um, you can do hand soap this hand soap actually have cream in there but remember sometimes because some soap it won't mix it together so try to get these cheap soap you don't really need anything spectacular to be honest okay and almost eight to my 100% I'm going to add in a little bit. This is just my preference, okay? Because I, because it's going to be in my hand. So I want a little bit of glycerin in there. Okay. And just mix this up. And this is your solution. I know, it's a little bit, it's, it's, it's awful. But this is the best way that we can use um, hydrogen peroxide because the percentage is just too high. The recommended percentage is too high and that's the only way. So now oh, actually I need a little bit more because it's not 100. I can get away with just a little bit more. The less the better though because then we'll bring our hydrogen peroxide up a little bit higher let's see almost a hundred I'm gonna add a little bit of glycerin in there okay and that's it that's my solution right there now get a container like I said a container like this right here and put it in make sure to mix it really well Okay, and now I'm just going to pour that in there. I should have poured it in there and then mix it, right? But I just want to make sure it's on my, on the good thing. I just want to make sure that the measurement is correct, so that's why. So now this is our 100 mil. And that's what it will look like close up okay and this is why I said I like these because I actually use this for my dog and see you put it on there okay just like that and then you rub that against and see how it foams up a little bit that actually help you to stay a little bit okay I'm gonna put a little bit more and here's the thing here's one crucial thing during that testing they want you to wait one minute before things to affect. And the reason why I put soap in there, soap actually speed up the process of killing them to take the outer shell of the coronavirus. That's why I went with soap, okay? And just regular dish soap. You don't need anything spectacular. This soap is very good for oil, and we want to break the outer shell of the virus. So since you know how to do it and it's cheap, you can make a lot of it. And as I stated, this is for the people who are on the go. These are the, for the people who take care of someone sick, okay? And also too, don't forget your nails. Soak it a little bit before you actually dry that out. Okay. And keep the formula above 80. Okay. Even though we know soap is going to kill them. And do not touch pets. Uh, even though soap is kind of safe. But I'll tell you not to touch pets or anything right now. Because this is our on the go. Okay, please remember that. It's on the go. And let it completely dry before you do anything. Go like this. So then you'll be all dry. And that's all you really need right there to make this. And it'll probably be the easiest hand sanitizer. And remember, we got to keep the high side and we got to keep the low side. 
Okay? One more time before I go. It's, it's a lot runny because you, we don't have a choice. Dip your, your nails in it. Make sure to dip your nails in there. And hold on to it. Okay? Go like this. And go, go with your nails and stuff. And anything, go up higher than this. Okay? So that way, anything there, in case it get landed here on the surface or whatever. Just like that. Because you're touching something. When you're out in public or whatever. That's why I said this formula is people on the go. When you're at home, just wash it with soap. You'll be all good. Let it dry. Wait until it's dry. Okay? Because remember, we have, according to the study, it has to be at least one minute. So as long as it's dry, it's already messing with them already. If, it's, if, if they were on my hand here, if they landed on my hand here, and it's, 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 it's drying out, it's, it's killing them already. Or at least break the outer shell. That's what we want. So let's say if they land on your hand, or you're taking care of the sick people, or anything like that. This is what this is for. For the people who are on the go, or someone's inside your house is sick, that's, that's what this formula is for, okay? But if you are at home, there's no need to make this at all. Save your soap. That's all I'm going to tell you. Or even hydrogen peroxide. Because you're going to need it when you're on the go. I have made my first one with uh, the lighter version right here with this soap. Right here. It didn't mix too well. And that's why I suggested this soap. See how... Oh, before I go. You see how it's like... Kind of like you can see it? Floating around? Because the mixture won't mix correctly. It looks a lot of bubbles there. Um, and you can put either way. But I actually like this one. Because see how it is? It's easier to come in and out. That's what I like about them. See? It's easy to go in and out. So remember, high side, low side. Okay? Other than that, that's about it on this video. I hope you find this is useful. Um, and I hope this uh, this is your last option when there's nothing else is left. Um, but like I stated before, one more time before I go, uh, bleach is your best option. But it will dry your hand out and some people do not like the smell. So this will be your next one right here. And it actually smell really good too. I actually like that right there. But anyway, uh, if you decide to do bleach, all you need is 0.1% of whatever. With the water and you're good. Because that's what they tested with. And I'll, I'll leave that thing right here one more time for you. Okay? Other than that, that's about it, and I will see you in the next video, okay?